This painting is called Totem Mother Kitwankul, and it's a very important picture in Carr's body of work because it allows us to understand her thoughts about the feminine, which was a very complicated subject for her. She herself was a person whose behavior and, and appetite for life fell far outside the conventions of the gender norms of her day. And she also lost her mother very young, which was a very traumatic event for her and left her feeling, I think, rather bereft for life. And so there's some complexity around the ideas of the mother and the feminine in her work. And she wrote of this totem pole, which is now actually in the Museum of Anthropology in Vancouver, that motherhood was strong in Kitwankul. We now know that even though she saw this as a mother and child image coming out of the European tradition of the Madonna and child and Christian iconography, that in fact, in this particular cultural group from which this pole was taken, this is most likely an ancestor figure. So it's an interesting projection on her part that she sees it as mother and child and we can understand why she made that leap. But it's also a caution to us that when we look across cultures, we can often misinterpret things. There's always that, that space between where we don't have an understanding of the conventions of the others. There has been some controversy around Carr's uh, occasional leaps and forays into making these kinds of interpretations about First Nations culture by some theorists more recently. But I think in this exhibition, what we're trying to do is really commend her curiosity and her passionate engagement, rather than making the claim that she necessarily was a cutting edge anthropologist of the day. Her engagement with the material was of an entirely different order than that, and deeply, deeply personal at its root.